We begin tonight with new developments in the case of two Washington teens accused of shooting a man to death, dumping his body, stealing his car, and then trying to flee the country. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nadine Woodward. 17-year-old Keegan Tennant and 18-year-old Matthew McKetta appeared before a judge today for the first time since they were arrested in Curlew, Washington on Friday. Those teens charged with murdering 18-year-old Tim Reeves of Pullman. Tennant and McKenna are accused of shooting and killing Reeves in Troy, Idaho. Sheriffs believe they then went to Moscow where they stole a car from a pizza delivery driver. The pair then made their way to Curlew, four hours away and just 10 miles from the Canadian border where they were found and taken into custody. KXY 4's Caroline Flynn working for you from Republic Washington. That's where those suspects appeared in court today. Unlike last week's manhunt, McKetta and Tennant's first court appearance went by rather quickly. 18-year-old Keegan Tennant appeared in front of the Stevens County judge first. After reading the list of charges he faced in Latah County, including involuntary manslaughter and attempted murder in the first degree, the judge informed the court the bail was set for $500,000. Tennant agreed to be sent back to Idaho and was taken out of the courtroom. It was when 17-year-old Matthew McKetta entered that things got a little more interesting. The judge began to question McKetta about his name. We learned McKetta was adopted and previously known as Matthew Smith. His court-appointed attorney then informed the court his client had been tested many times in Idaho for mental disabilities and suffers from short-term memory loss. He forgot his lawyer had explained to him earlier about the extradition. After the judge re-explained to him the situation, he agreed to not challenge the state's right to send him back. Latah County is currently en route to bring the two teens back to Idaho. We also learned in court today that McKetta has hired an Idaho attorney who is currently on vacation. No word on whether that will delay proceedings back in Idaho. Be sure to stay with KXLY for the latest. Reporting from Ferry County Courthouse, Caroline Flynn, KXLY 4 News.